Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> that was a top tier intro. Around this time of year, a lot of people like to talk about their favorite Christmas movies and watch their favorite Christmas movies and revisit their favorite Christmas movies and dress up like their favorite Christmas movies. It's always all about the movies and about those little specials by Rankin and Bass, but rarely do people talk about their favorite sitcom Christmas episodes. This is such an underrated way to get into the spirit and have some fun. So I thought that today I would take the work off your to-do list and compile my list of my top five favorite Christmas sitcoms. <laughs> sitcom episodes. If you knew how many times I tried to say that, you would laugh. I haven't seen every sitcom out there, obviously, so these are just the top five that I could think of from some of my favorite shows. I would definitely love to hear in the comments what some of your favorite Christmas sitcom episodes are, or holiday Christmas episodes in general, so that I can add them to my list if I haven't seen them. Or remember ones that maybe I didn't quite think about. First on my list is an episode of Boy Meets World called Santa's Little Helper, and it is season one, episode 10. Fun fact, a lot of Christmas episodes are the 10th episodes. I don't know why this is, I guess it's just how it falls in the schedule, but number 10 is usually Christmassy. Santa's Little Helper is a tiny bit different than the other ones on my list because it does go an emotional route and a more serious route, but it does have some comedy that I really enjoy. The standouts for me in this episode are Will Friedle, mostly Will Friedle. <laughs> Wilfred L really makes this episode. The reason I said only Wilfred L is because I cannot, for the life of me, remember the name of Morgan, the first Morgan. IMDb, what do you got for me? Okay, so the standouts in this episode are Wilfred L and Lily Gibson. The whole storyline with Morgan is so funny. <laughs> It's so out of left field. But then of course the storyline with Corey and Sean is very heartwarming and touching and nice and warm and fuzzy. And it's just an all around great watch. Next on my list is a Friends episode and I'm sure you know what it is without me telling you. It is season seven, episode 10, The Holiday Armadillo. It is a classic, it is everyone's favorite Christmas Friends episode, I'm pretty sure. I think I've done a couple of other ones but I don't even remember them. <laughs> because this is the one. This episode is a Ross standout episode for sure, but Chandler also brings a lot of greatness to it. It does hit a little different after Matthew Perry's unfortunate and very tragic passing, but it is great to see him shining and showing off his comedy skills. And David Schwimmer, like I said, is definitely a big standout. There are laughs, and of course Hanukkah is included, which is really nice, because a lot of these episodes do just focus on Christmas, but there are, of course, a lot of other holidays celebrated at this time of year. And also just an armadillo was the most random thing they could have done. Whoever came up with that, shout out to them because where did they get that? Number three on my list is a Full House episode from season two. Season two, episode nine, not 10. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. Our very first Christmas show. This one I had kind of not forgotten about, but sort of just didn't, I didn't have it in my top five off the top of my head and then I rewatched it and realized it definitely deserved a spot. It's funny, there's a really funny line from DJ when they're on the airplane and this man comes up and is like, I have that seat child. And she's like, actually, I have that seat adult. <laughs> and when she said that, I put it on my list. Also, Jesse in this episode is marriage material. <laughs> Honestly, that little speech he does at the end, however cheesy it may be, and I'm aware that it's cheesy, it's just like, you can marry me right now, sir. <laughs> it's funny, it's heartwarming, it's just all around a very Christmassy feeling episode. Number two is one of my favorites. My top two are my go-to episodes that I watch every year. Modern Family, season three, episode 10, Express Christmas. If you haven't heard of Express Christmas, you have now. I quote this year round. There's a specific line in this episode with Lily and Mitch. And Lily says, this is out of context, but I say it out of context all the time, so it works. Lily's like, I have two daddies. And Mitchell's like, he gets it, Lily. And I'll be like, anytime I have two of something, I'll be like, I have two insert here and my dad will be like he gets it lily it's a thing it's a whole thing this episode is brilliant it's so much fun it has so many standout lines standout moments standout performances it is an instant classic express christmas december 16th which is past now so you missed it but on december 16th don't forget to pay a little homage to express christmas i think that the standout performance in this aside from lily being her sassy iconic self it's definitely Phil Dunphy, Ty Burrell really brings it and carries this episode. Well, not carries, everybody is doing a good job, but he, he makes it. And my top, top tier, number one best Christmas sitcom episode is from, I bet you're not expecting this, 
The Middle. The Middle, season seven, episode 10, Not So Silent Night. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jonna, I've never even seen a single episode of The Middle. That does not matter. You can watch this without knowing anything about it and you will enjoy it. I promise you will enjoy it. I'm willing to bet 99% chance that you will enjoy it and have a smile on your face and laugh. It is so funny. It is so well done. It is just like perfection. Wrap it up in a bow, give it to your best friend. It's brilliant. I honestly don't want to say too much because I feel like you have to see it because me telling you about it will ruin it. <laughs> you just have to go into it and watch it. It is so... All the chefs of the world just kissed in unison. I need to watch it right now. But not before I tell you some honorable mentions that almost made my list, but I was trying to keep it at five. Blackish, season one, episode 10, Black Santa, White Christmas. Girl Meets World, season one, episode 16. Not nine, not 10, 16. Don't know how that happened. Girl Meets Home for the Holidays. The Brady Bunch, season one, episode 12, The Voice of Christmas. Disclaimer on this one, there is definitely a very inappropriate, racist, stereotypical moment that I wish I could erase myself, but I don't have that power. You'll know what it is when you see it. It's very obviously racist and wrong. And I definitely don't appreciate that, but the rest of the episode is good. So if we could just like call up whoever owns the Brady Bunch and clip that out, I would be, I would be so grateful. It should never have been there in the first place. And last but certainly not least, I have an episode of Bewitched as an honorable mention. Season one, episode 15, A Vision of Sugar Plums. Let me know if you have seen any of these episodes and if any of them are also your favorites. And like I said before, I would love to hear any ones that aren't on my list so that I can add them and watch them and feel Christmassy. And if you haven't seen any of these and you do check them out, come back to this video, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite line was, your favorite character, or anything about it that you enjoyed. I would love to hear. I do want to say that I have another top five sitcom Christmas episodes episode. <laughs> Hold on. Another top... <laughs> another top five Christmas sitcom episodes video coming out all about the cringiest ones because some were just too cringy to put on this list because when I watch them I cringe really hard and it kind of hurts. So stay tuned for that because it could get interesting and I love you all. Stay beautiful you people. Bye!